well let us name see the maxwell equations and its physical significance maxwell has given the four equations and these four equations are associated with the four different laws of physics so the first equation as you know is nothing but Mac i mean maxwell first equation is associated with gauss law of electrostatics the second law is gauss law of magnetostatics the third law is faraday's law of electromagnetic inductions and the fourth one which is the original maxwell equations where maxwell has shown the existence of displacement current that is called the ampere maxwell equation or you can say that is modified ampere uh, equations these four equations taken together with that of your lorentz force equations together all these five equations can explain all the problems in electromagnetic waves or electromagnetism now what happens let us see in the first one the first one is e dot ds e dot ds is equal to q enclosed by epsilon 0 this is gauss law gauss law of electrostatics the second one is b dot ds which is equal to 0 this is again gauss law of magnetostatics gauss law of magnetostatics the third one is that is e dot dl this is contour integration this is surface these are surface integration this is contour integration this is minus d phi e i mean d phi b by dt this is faraday's law of electromagnetic inductions this is faraday's law of electromagnetic inductions and the last the b dot dl which is the original maxwell equation here it is mu times i conduction current the first is conduction current the second is mu epsilon d phi this is e by dt this is because of the displacement current this is due to the displacement current here it is called that is amperes you can say ampere maxwell equations ampere maxwell's law or equations so here actually the fourth one is the original maxwell equations now what is its importance now if you see the first pair of equations here this is a time independent equations these two do not contain any time factors so therefore these two equations are time independent and steady state equations they they are time independent and here the first equations confirms that isolated charges are possible your isolated charges are possible charges possible you can pick up a single positive charge of 5 coulombs negative charge of 7 coulombs like that you can hold a isolated charge but in the second case that is isolated poles is not possible that means monopoles you cannot you cannot show a single north pole or a south pole that is it divides monopoles not possible monopole not possible it is not possible and more importantly here the lines of force that is magnetic lines of force are continuous that means if you are having a north pole here south pole here if lines of force starting from north pole it terminates at south pole the direction being this way and inside the magnet it starts from south pole to north pole so therefore the magnetic lines of force are continuous you cannot separate the north pole from south pole you therefore the isolated poles magnetic monopoles are not possible unlike the case of here in cases of uh, gauss law of electrostatic which is the first maxwell equation you can have positive charges and negative charges in isolation and accordingly the lines of force for a positive charge you can show like this way outside or reverse in the case of an 
uh, I mean negative charge inside. Now coming to the third equation which is the Faraday's law of electromagnetic inductions. These two equations if you see carefully here the time factor is there. That means these two equations third and fourth equation it depends upon time and as time changes this equation affect the uh, values. So therefore here the third equation what it ensures that means phi b phi b means magnetic flux that means if there is a time variation of magnetic flux it develops emfs so emf or current is induced or current is developed because of the time variation of magnetic flux and here if you carefully see that because of the time variation of electric field or electric flux in either the case you get emf or here the magnetic field magnetic emf or the magnetic field you are getting because of the time variation of electric flux okay so the importance here that the time variation d phi e i mean d phi b magnetic flux generates current generates current and here this is called the d phi e by dt it generates also currents the difference is that here the d phi when there is a time variation of electric flux it is a displacement current and here it may be the conduction current which you are getting as induced current so therefore the first second third fourth equation all together along with the lorentz force equations along with the lorentz lorentz force equations that is what is lorentz force equation that is f you can write down as q of e plus v plus b these equations okay <clears throat> along with these four maxwell equations taking Lorentz force equations, we can describe all the dynamisms there in the electromagnetism. So therefore, this is the physical significance of the electromagnetic, I mean Maxwell equations that Maxwell unified the different four laws of physics as you know, starting with that of your Boss law, Faraday's and Ampere's, Maxwell unified all these and under you, you can recall in Rowell classes that Wester who has first attempted the interactive force between the magnet and the electric and subsequently Ampere took up it and finally Ampere unified or Maxwell I mean say to Maxwell unified the electric and the magnetic interaction together saying that electromagnetic waves and confirms the presence of such electromagnetic waves in his experiment and later on Hodge and our Jagdish Chandra Bose also confirms the practical production of electromagnetic waves subsequently. We will discuss more about this in our coming classes. Thank you.